Today we are going to import a Spring Boot project into our development environment. Um, it's going to be a Maven project and we're going to import it into Spring Tool Suite will be our development environment. So we've already used Spring Initializer to create this project. Um, so what I did was extract the contents of the zip file into a new location in my user uh, I made a project folder and then the actual application folder so what we're gonna do is open spring tool suite um, my workspace is called STS4 micro tips you can call yours whatever you like we'll launch that Alright, and then we're just going to go to File, Import, and since we are looking for a Maven project, we're going to open Maven and select Existing Maven Projects. Now we can browse to that location that we put our project in. So we're going to go to C, Users, User ID, project folder and then our application folder that's as far as we have to go we can just click click on select folder and it's going to find our palm for us and we'll click finish it'll begin importing our project into the environment you can see here it's got the dev tools that we had picked out in initializer so if we open this we can see a few important things we've got our palm here you can open that you can see everything that we've added to the project we got the starter parent we got our group ID our artifact ID version um, we're on Java 11 you can see the starter web and the dev tools that we include as dependencies uh, as well as the test dependency and our maven plugin uh, other key things to note is you're gonna have a package here with your actual Spring Boot application uh, resources which includes your application.properties file um, so what we're going to do to show that this application runs since it doesn't do really anything yet so we will open up our application class and we're just going to add a simple system.out.println and we'll just say something like imp import exceeded because this is what's going to run when we run our Spring Boot application. This will run first. So we'll save this. We will right click on our application class, run as a Spring Boot app. and you can see that our print line ran and printed imports exceeded to our console um, you can also see tomcat started on port 8080 which is the default port so we know that the application is running and it's ready to be added to so that's all for this lesson we'll see you next time